All right, guys, this is a whole house filter. Cold water comes in from the city water supply right here, comes down into this canister that's clear. Now inside, we're going to put one of these two filter cartridges. This one removes dirt and rust, and it's pleated. This one removes dirt, rust, and chlorine. This is probably a good choice for you guys because you complained about that chlorine taste. Absolutely. All right, so the cartridge goes down inside this filter, and now the cold water comes through it, gets filtered, and goes back into the building right here. Now, for your job, the best place to turn the water off is out in the street. Out by the street, there's a meter pit, and down inside, there's two meters, one for this house and one for the neighbor's house. It also has a shutoff valve called a curb cock. You just have to turn that off. Okay, good. Now, here in the corner of the garage is your mechanical room, and this is where the cold water main comes in from that meter pit outside. It's a perfect location to put our whole house filter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this piping so I end up with a shutout valve on each side of the whole house filter. Why is that? Well, actually, to make it easier for you guys, if we have two shutoff valves, you can change that cartridge without any water dripping out. Let me show you the type of fittings we're using today, something new for us. This is a solderless connection. If you look down inside there, you'll see that there's a black O-ring, and then just above it are these stainless steel teeth. And this is a push fitting. If we push that pipe down into the fitting by one inch, you can see the mark right here. What happens is those teeth bite into the outside of that pipe and hold it tight, and the O-ring makes the watertight seal. No soldering. All right, I've mounted a piece of plywood between these two studs, and that gives me a perfect base to mount this bracket. Don, just throw me that filter, would you? All right, and this is going to mount like so. Okay, that does it for our outlet connection. I've already put some Teflon tape, and that's tight. Now, on the other side, you can see that this is a one-inch thread, and so we've got an adapter to take us from one inch down to three-quarter. And that already has its Teflon applied because the pipe size that we have in your house is three-quarter. I still need some Teflon tape amber to be applied to those threads right here. Just take that tape and just sort of go right around it. Hold it with your finger, good, and pull it tight as you're going around. Now you want to pull it tight. When you're ready, just pull it tight so it breaks. Good. All right, now let me just thread that in. I just need to hold back with a second wrench, like so. All right, now you remember we've got the water off and I've opened the faucets inside. Now I'd like you to take that hacksaw and to cut right there in the back side of the elbow and right up there. Go ahead. Careful, don't kink the blade. And that'll give us a chance to start piping to our new filter. With the emery cloth, just clean up both of those pipes for the first inch or so. All right, we have our filter mounted onto the bracket, and now we can start making our connections. So we start with our supply pipe coming from the street. We have a coupling. I want to push that on all the way to one inch deep. Now, I always put witness marks right here to be sure the fitting goes all the way in. That's one inch. Now I push it. Now I need this bottom piece. There's one. Good, made. All right, so here's our connection coming in from the street through the shutoff valve into our filter. Don, what I'd like you to do is to make the connections from the filter back into the house. Okay. All right, so here's our coupling that goes straight on. Push it till it bottoms out all the way. Good. All right, on the next piece, we have another shutoff valve, a ball valve, and that actually has the push connections on both sides, so I can just push that together. Made. All right, now you're going to make this connection. Make sure it goes right up on all the way to the witness marks. Good. Now, can you make that last one? Push it in. All the way in. Come on. All right, is that in? Yes. Okay, so just shut off that shutoff valve right there. I'll shut that one off. Any house has a ground wire, which connects from the electrical panel to the water meter. Once we've added this filter, there's a break in this circuit. So I've added a jumper between the house side of the filter and the water meter side to be sure the ground stays intact. And now it's time to turn the water back on. Okay. All right, guys, moment of truth. Amber, why don't you put on that supply valve? Straight up. Okay, here's the water into the chamber. No leaks so far. Okay, now open up the right-hand one that goes into the house. There you go. 
Now there's a wrench that comes with it, and that's designed to be able to change that cartridge every two or three months, make sure you turn the water off. And you guys have clean water. Mm -hmm.